What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be looking at a fixed blade um, from a new company, uh, at least new for me. I've never heard of this company before, but it's uh, Watchman. And this is the Watchman W206 um, EDC fixed blade. And yeah, let's go ahead and open her up. Get this, oh my goodness. <sighs> Whatever, <coughs> oh. Whatever kind of lube that they use smells absolutely horrible. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Okay, um, wow. That, that smell was awful. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, let's get into this, guys. Um, so this is the Watchman um, W206. Uh, it has a, a really nice kind of like a, a sheep's foot style blade there. Um, it is in 14C 28N and WF206, my apologies. Oh, we have a nice satin finish. And we have the Watchman logo right there. They cut out a um, little sharpening choil there for us. It looks like you're going to have uh, some decent life out of this blade. But, man, uh, the grind lines on this are really cool looking. I don't know if y'all can tell, but just, like, look at how that shimmers in the, in the different light angles. That looks so cool. Yeah. Got a nice little swedge here on the tip. Do you have uh, some jimping up here? It does look like maybe the top or the, you know, the spine of the blade here might be like sandblasted. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look satin like how the uh, the blade is uh, my car to handles here and they're very uh, how should I say this it's not it's not soft at all it's a very hard um, my car to very uh, laminate feeling I guess but we do have a lanyard hole back here two body screws which look like probably like T10 or something some jimping here on the bottom for some extra grip and kind of like this uh, milling pattern on the micarta just for some extra texture and grip but as I was saying before the um, sharpening choil and plunge grind look like they're done pretty pretty good um the plunge grind ends right there so you're gonna have you know all of this to sharpen which is a pretty good amount um ergonomics feel really good um i like how it kind of swells out a little bit and uh you know towards the back uh, the jimping doesn't really do a whole lot because it's very just a mild kind of jimping on the spine. It's not very aggressive or, um, you know, acute or anything. Yeah, it's pretty soft. Let me see if... They list the HRC here of the 14C. 
I don't see anything on the HRC of 59 to 60. Uh, so that's pretty good for 14C. Uh, we do have, uh, I believe it looks like maybe another color option uh, with orange, orange micarta. And I think they make other knives, other, other fixed blades as well. But yeah, this feels pretty sharp. Um, but yeah, this feels really good. Very useful blade shape. The reverse grip feels all right. You can't really, I mean, you could kind of cap off with your thumb there, but I, I kind of have just a tendency to put it on the side because it's not really comfortable here on the top because it's kind of pointy there and I can't really put it on the flat right there. You could, but um, yeah. Man, I just can't get over how, how nice these grind lines look. It looks really mesmerizing. Let's check out the, the sheath here. So just a little bit of rattle. Um, I mean, you can't really expect much. This knife is uh, coming in at $31.99 on Amazon right now. The retention feels great. I really like this kind of angled um, part of the Kydex where you can push off of. That, that feels really nice. I like when you have something on the Kydex sheath to kind of push off of, and this feels fantastic. Um, yeah, really good retention, but just a little bit of rattle. We do have, um, looks like just a, a regular, you know, mounting system here for the the sheath. And it looks like you could probably mount this across the other way. I'm not sure. You probably could. But if I were going to use this, uh, I'd probably get like an ulti clip. Um and just, you know, mount an ulti clip on here. And it's kind of weird because these two eyelets are pretty close. And then <laughs> these are kind of far apart, but I think it'll still work. I mean, I'm, um, I'm a righty, so the ulti clip would just go right here which would work because I have the 3x3 three three, and it looks like that would fit the 3x3. Three three. Um, yeah, overall, I think this is a fantastic knife. For 32 bucks. I mean, extremely useful blade shape. Ergonomics are really good. It feels, feels great. Um, pinch grips, oh yeah. They even angled this part of the micarta blade uh, handle right there for pinch grips and that feels really nice if y'all can see that it's nicely uh contoured there for the pinch grips and yeah that's gonna do um work very nicely yeah pinch grips you can even extend the index finger all the way out here that feels great and just lock in right there. Yeah, very nice. Overall length, man. Um, just a little bit over seven inches with a cutting edge of just under three, it looks like. The weight on this guy, let's see. 
Without the sheath is 3.2, and with the Kydex, sheath is 5.4. But, um, yeah, I think this is a great little EDC knife for sure. 14C, 28 in, 32 bucks. Uh, fantastic blade shape and um, a decent Kydex sheath. I mean, yeah, that's, that's winning right there. This is the White River M1 Backpack Pro. So... It's uh, relatively, you know, the same overall length there, it looks like, with, uh, you know, pretty similar cutting edge. This is the Griffin Scout 2.5, a little bit shorter, but fantastic EDC knife. But uh, yeah, this definitely gets my stamp of approval. I I think this is a fantastic EDC knife on a budget for sure. Well, guys, let me know what y'all think. Hope y'all enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.